Good morning, YouTube. Tim with Outdoor Trail Hikers. Got a short video this morning. Uh, I wanted to share with you. This weekend, me and the wife are going to Vicksburg, Mississippi, and uh, we're going to explore the military park there. Uh, it's really cool park. Uh, there's a lot there to see. So we'll do our best to get as much video and pictures as we can to share with y'all. Uh, there's also a Coca-Cola museum there that we're going to go tour. So we'll have those videos posted uh, later. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you'll get notified when we post our videos uh, so you don't miss anything. What I want to talk to you this morning about is a bag I purchased. Now, when we're going through places like this, you know, my equipment's increased. So I have more to keep up with, but my backpack is really too big to be carrying in museums and, uh, you know, in buildings where we need to be able to take our equipment and keep up with it. Uh, but like I said that the backpack is just too big and bulky and you'd be hitting stuff with it. Uh, so I got on Amazon and I found another little, what they call sling bag. And... What got me thinking about the sling bag is my wife purchased a sling bag, quote, purse. And I was just looking at her purse. I thought, man, that would be perfect to put my equipment in. And it's small enough. It won't be in the way. Uh, so I got on Amazon and I found one that I liked. And after looking at the dimensions, I, I thought it would work. So I ordered it. It was only uh, $13 free shipping uh, with Amazon Prime. And this is it right here. As you can see, it's not very big at all. It looks like a little backpack. It holds a small water bottle. And the only problem with it that I found is my gimbal is just too big to completely fit in the main pocket. Let me move my coffee. I really wanted a bag that was just big enough for my gimbal to fit in. Uh, and as you can see, it sticks out a little bit. I just kind of zipped up to it. But it's, it's going to work for now. I did get back on Amazon and I found another uh, sling bag that's similar to this one. But it is bigger. And uh, I'm going to order that. But this one will work. I said I put my gimbal in there and I just zip the zipper up around this so it keeps it from moving around and I've got a camera in there now I'm gonna lay that gimbal down so I don't knock it over while we're on the subject of my gimbal when I bought my case for my Note 10 Plus it added weight to the the gimbal or to the phone and this wouldn't balance out completely so what I did is I modified this gimbal and I'm not telling y'all to do this this is just something I did it's a choice I made but I took off some of this cushion rubber stuff so the phone would go closer to this rest and then I had to take out a little bit on the corners this rubber stuff that's in this gimbal and that made the phone fit in there perfect with the case on because I didn't want to take my case off every time I use my gimbal and uh, that's just what it took to get it to where it fit in there securely now on this particular gimbal which is the smooth Q three axis uh, you had to loosen this nut here or this bolt and slide this out all the way that way you get your your balance uh, and also I needed just a little bit more for now I take this chip clip and I clip it on the gimbal like so it's not in the way of my rotation and it's just enough weight when I get my phone in there it's balanced out perfect so it's not in a way of, you know, you don't get the chip clip when you're filming or anything. 
and it, it really works out perfect. And I thought about buying one of the weights that you can mount on this gimbal, but I think I'm just going to use that. It's, it's simple enough. And if I don't need it, I can take it off. Let's see what else I have in this pocket. Oh, I have my, lay that down there. I have my Yee Light little camera also in here in, in a separate pocket. So there's your main compartment in here. And then on the back, there's a little pocket that you can put stuff in. So, you know, that's everything I have in this pocket right now. And I just, like I said, when the gimbal's in there, I just zip it up tight and let it stick out. It's gonna work fine for now. And then in this little pocket here, it's not very big, but it's big enough that I can put two of my battery packs in there. And it keeps them separated, it keeps them snug together. It's just perfect for those. And then in your front pocket, I have some spare batteries and I have all my cordage for my gimbal and my phone. Another cord. And that's pretty much all I have in there right now. There, there is room for more stuff in here. Uh, I haven't completely went through my other bag, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna take on this trip, but I do know this will definitely go on my trip. And we're gonna be outside walking to military park. So I'll be able to take a bottle of water with me to stay hydrated. And then it, this has a real heavy strap and it's adjustable and you can clip it on these d-rings left or right so you know depending on what side you want to carry it on so you just can sling it over your shoulder and you can carry it on your front which is the way i would carry it everything's right here in front of you and keep an eye on it you can get to it easy pull it out use it as you need it and you're not going to be bumping into stuff with it because you can visually see where it's at and it's right on your body. It's comfortable. And I don't know how many times there I've needed to get rid of the gimbal and just use the phone. And then I'm trying to stick the gimbal underneath my arm and take pictures. And now I can just unzip this bag and just slide it in here and it's going to be fine. Uh, you know, the same way if I need to put my phone in here, it's got this little back pocket. I could just slide it in there and it'd be secure. It'd be in my line of sight. I'm not worried about somebody stealing anything, as, you know, as long as it's on me. They're not going to yank this bag off of you. I guess in a way you could call it a man purse. But I want you to notice that I made sure it looked manly. And you've got these... I forgot what they call them now. You military guys will know. But it's got where you can clip other stuff on here. I don't want my cord. They make uh, another water bottle holder that's bigger than that that you can hook on this side here. So you can hold bigger water bottles or a, a second water bottle, which I'm going to do so I can carry my wife's uh, water with me. And it also has this Velcro patch. And I've seen in the American flag. Uh, patch put there and then you can actually order them on Amazon but I'm gonna get one made up with my logo and put right there and uh, even though this one is not as big as what I would have liked it to be in uh, it will get used uh, there's it's small enough for like I said touring museums and stuff you can keep everything you need in this one little bag but I am gonna get the next size up it'll be about that much taller and just a little bit wider and it'll be plenty big for my uh, gimbal and it also the way the straps are I will be able to hook my small phone tripod to the side of the bag but uh, I'll get that when we get back from this trip I'm going to use this one for this trip uh, it's a pretty cool bag it's well made it's waterproof and and I really like it And like I said, my other backpack that I used to take, especially for my outdoor excursions, it's just too big 
And when we're in a museum, we don't want to be hitting stuff with it, knocking stuff over, breaking stuff. And, and this is just going to work great. So I'm not going to take up any more of your time this morning. Uh, I just wanted to share this bag. Ordered it from Amazon, $12.99, free shipping from Prime. Uh, and I received it in one day. So thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification button. And be ready for our videos from Vicksburg, Mississippi. Uh, I'll try to get them out uh, the first part of next week after we get back and have time to do some editing. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if y'all need an idea for a bag, just hop on Amazon and, and search for sling bags. Have a good day. Get out there and explore.